We have here a chest x-ray PA view of a 50 year old female who had come for some weak chest pain. Her ECG was normal and the x-ray shows an interesting finding. We see a large rounded well defined calcification that could be cardiac, it could be anterior or posterior mediastinal. It is sitting almost at the level of or just below the carina. We were quite uh, confused and perplexed as to what this could be. So uh, we thought of uh, various conditions uh, but couldn't really figure this out and decided to do a CT scan uh, chest. And uh, on seeing those findings immediately we sort of followed it up with a cardiac CT as well. And uh, as you can see on the cardiac CT, uh, well the chambers are fine, the coronaries are fine and uh, we see a nice large round well defined uh, calcified lesion sitting uh, above the right atrium. This lesion is uh, well within the pericardial outline, so it's not looking like an anterior mediastinal mass lesion. And hence our differentials really got narrowed down out when thymomas or retrosternal thyroids or treated lymphoma. There's no history, of course, of uh, treated lymphoma. And uh, we could narrow down our differentials to a large area of calcified uh, uh, sort of mass lesion or lesion in the right atrial appendage or perhaps uh, just some pericardial calcification and this is an unusual finding and uh, a nice cardiac CT run where we could actually delineate the chambers helped us to know as to where exactly this lesion is sitting we prodded the patient with some history and we realized that she had an x-ray chest done six months ago uh, we called for it and uh, the findings were absolutely similar. There was no change in size. So our final diagnosis in this case was a right atrial appendage calcification. We don't know how it got there. Perhaps it was a thrombus or a calcified uh, lesion, a benign lesion probably, because there's no change in size as well. And if we look at uh, anterior mediastinal mass lesions, we think of the T's, right? So we think of thymomas, we think of retrosternal thyroid coiter. We think of treated lymphomas and uh, we also have a thought on germ cell tumors. So while germ cell tumor was uh, strongly on our mind in this case, uh, the, the CT scan really proved that uh, this was a cardiac related lesion. And while this is not a very common uh, differential diagnosis, uh, when we think of anterior mediastinal lesions, a regular CT and uh, if there's any doubt of the lesion being uh, related to the heart and the pericardium, a cardiac CT would be a fine way to help differentiate uh, this lesion. This is a no-touch lesion. So a no-touch lesion would mean that it's benign, it's just been sitting there. Sometimes we really don't know why it has come and uh, still, in spite of really not knowing uh, the true differential of a condition, one can easily leave this alone because we have a six-month uh, x-ray done six months ago that showed uh, that this lesion has not changed in size at all.